Hey everyone, today I want to show you how to find the future value of an investment using time value of money. And it's super easy to do in Excel. You just need a couple of data points and you should be able to quickly figure out the future value again of an, an investment. And so I'm using the equals FV function in Excel, it just basically returns the future value of an investment based on periodic constant payments and a constant interest rate. So we're going to go through a couple scenarios here and show you how to go about calculating future value. So the first First thing we're going to do, we're going to enter a couple of different things. So present value, we're going to put as $10,000. You'll see it's positive here. We're actually going to make that negative, assuming that we made an investment. So we're out at $10,000. So it's showing as negative. Interest rate, we'll say 5%. Number of time periods, we'll say 10 years. And something quickly to uh, clarify on this, we're, we're assuming annual interest rates, which we'll get into this a little bit later. But normally you can do monthly annualization as well, monthly interest rates, I, I should say. And there's a little bit different way to go about calculating that. So at first though, we're just gonna keep this very simple. So we've got an investment of $10,000 with a 5% annual interest rate over 10 years. So that's, that's how we have it set up right now. So what we'll do is we'll enter equals future value, put tab, and then it's gonna start asking for those criteria. So what is the rate? So we're gonna go ahead and select our rate is that 5%. Number of periods is 10, the 10 years. Payments, so we don't have payments. We're just gonna assume that it's one lump sum entered and then we're gonna see where it's at 10 years later. So we'll just put another comma there and then it's gonna ask us for our present value. So we'll just click on the present value and then do a close parentheses. And then it's gonna give us the future value of our investment based on this criteria is 16,000, over $16,000. So huge return given some of that criteria and in, in that long, that 10 years of annualization. So if we want to change that, let's say we want to make payments on that. So we'll go ahead and just remove this. So let's say that we want to invest a thousand dollars every year. So we have the initial investment of the $10,000, but we want to put in a thousand dollars on top of that every year. So what we'll do is negative $1,000. And then we can go ahead and enter the formula in again. So we'll do equals future value. We'll do our rate. We'll do our number of periods, which is the 10. The payment, which is the, the yearly $1,000. And then our initial investment of $10,000. And then we'll just do a close parentheses. We'll hit enter. And so now it's shooting out $28,000. So we have the $10,000 from the initial investment and then the additional $10,000 of payments we're making. And so we end up making over $8,000, almost $9,000 in return on this investment. So very cool to understand the future value of money in that way. Okay, so let's say that we want to see what the investment or the analysis would look like if we were to do it on a monthly basis rather than on an annual basis. So all we would need to do is take our current interest rates and our number of periods and convert that to monthly. So let's say we have our equals 5%, which is an annual rate right now. So we'll just divide it by 12 months. So it's gonna give us our 0.42%. So that's like our monthly interest rate. And then we also need to convert the number of periods to monthly as well. So we're gonna take 10 years times 12 periods and it's gonna give us 120 total payments. And because we wanna do monthly, we can do a couple things. We can, again, just re-enter our formula. So equals future value of our rate, our newly converted rate, our number of periods, our payment, which we, we don't have, and then our present value. We're gonna come back to that though in just a second, uh, our payment. So hit enter and it comes out to be 16.4. So very, very similar to what we had before, you know, just compounding on a monthly basis opposed to an annual basis. What we want to do though is what we want to look at is let's say we, we have a payment in there as well. So before we were putting a thousand dollars in every month. So let's say rather than that we want to do a monthly payment of a hundred dollars. So we'll hit enter there and we'll be able to see that monthly payment. So that's what we've got to keep in mind now that we have 120 payment periods, we're going to have $100. So it's a, it's a lot bigger investment. And we can see that the, the future value is almost $32,000. So we get to see a quite the return there. We get to see the, the awesome power of compounding interest. And so that's, that's a very easy and simple way to work through the future value formula, time value of money. Uh, it's, it's great. You can go in and toy around and learn more. This is very helpful if you're assessing investments or doing financial analysis. So I, I hope this helps. If not, please let me know if you have any additional questions. I'd love to answer them. And uh, please remember to subscribe to the Excel Guy. Thanks and have a great day.